This is Just Fake Network TV, bringing to you more accurate news from all around the world. Please kindly subscribe to our channel if you are yet to do so. If you have done so, we say please, we say thank you. Now to the news. Nigerian youths are too poor to run for political office. Despite growing evidence of youth activism and mobilization, Nigerian youth have yet to achieve the level of inclusion required to gain representation in politics. Leadership deficits, money politics, poor internal democracy among the older politics or political parties and an absence of a strategy political agenda pose ongoing barriers to youth or to young people playing a role in national development. African political history is not complete without appreciating the role that youth played in achieving their country's independence. In the years leading to independence, youth were the driving force behind the national, nationalist activities that led to the dismantling, overthrown of colonialism and the colonial masters. Despite this, the role of youth in Africa, even in Africa and in African politics has received less than any attention in studies on democratization. In Nigeria, the activities of Herbert Makode, Namdi Azikiwe, Obafemi Awolowo, and many more others in their 20s and 30s are legendary. Some of these youths are reputed for the formation of political parties such as the Nigerian Youth Movement, which was the first political party in Nigeria, the Nigerian National Democratic Party, and the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons. These young Nigerians each used the media to speak against the evil of colonialism and demanded independence. Namdi Azikiwe, for instance, was reputed for the use of his newspaper, the West African Pilot. Through this avenue, they created awareness of the evil that foreign domination, domination posed to the country. And despite various constitutional reforms, these young people demanded independence and determination eventually saw the countries gaining independence from British colonized rule on 1st October 1960. In the years after independence, particularly during the military era, young people opposed and fought gallantly against against the military regimes of Jakubu Gowan, Obasanjo, and during the brutal, inglorious regime of Ibrahim Babangida and Sani Abacha in 1980s and 1990s, an entire generation of youth and student organization formed under umbrella organization, such as the National Association of Nigerian Students, the Campaign for Democracy, the Civil Liberties Organization, and the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. This took the struggle to the streets of major cities across the country. Despite the track record of older generation youths, Nigerian politics is fast becoming the exclusive preserved of the older politicians as seen from the constant recycling of government officials, especially those in their sixties. For many years, particularly after the country's return to democratic governance in 1999, youth were at best seen as supporters, mobilizers, 
or political foot soldiers hired to instigate violence, manipulate elections, and intimidate opposing parties. While this image is not completely the fault, the fault of the older generation, this group enjoyed the idea of youth as political merchandise rather than competitors. With the signing into law of the not too young to run bill in 2019, led by President Mahmoud Buhari, this trend seems to be changing as youths are becoming or beginning to see the importance of their role in governance. The bill was part of the advocacy role of Africa, the youth initiative for advocacy, growth and advancement, and the not too young to run movement, which opened up the space to increase youth part participation, among other change challenges to the electoral law. It reduces the age for presidential candidate from 40 to 35 and for House of Representatives candidate from 30 to 25. As a result of the bill, there is a positive trend in youth participation, with youth can candidacy increasing from 21% in 2015 to 34.2% in 2019 elections. Despite these changes, the number of youth aged 18 to 29, based on the youth definition given by the National Youth Policy Organization, voted into elective position in Nigeria is less than 1%. Further, there are no youth in the new cabinet formed by President Muhammadu Buhari, and neither is there a youth in the National Assembly. This is despite youth making up over 67% of registered voters on average, which means that whoever they decide to vote for is sure of winning the election. Poor funding and high cost of nomination form for various offices remain a major obstacle to youth representation in politics. In the run-up to the 2009 general election, the cost of nomination forms was as high as 45 million naira, which is $125,000 for presidential aspirants, $222.5 million, which is $60,000 for governorship aspirants, $7 million, which is $19,000. For the state, it's $3.8 million, Naira, which is 10500 $10, dollars For the House of Representatives, uh, representative, few Nigerian youths are financially buoyant to pay this sum, and since donor and godfathers usually prefer older men, whom they believe have the chance of winning, young people are naturally just deviated or, or just, uh, just disinterfered if they just leave them. Though, while in, in theory, they are not too young to run. In, in practice, the youths find themselves too poor to run and in a dilemma of how to mobilize sufficient funds to be eligible for representation. With, with a rapidly expanding population, the future of Africa in general and Nigeria is particular. in particular belongs to the youth who have a vital role to play in national development. The ones, therefore, rest on African leaders to ensure that youth or young people are given the pride of place in African politics. Well, what do you think about this particular news? Um, it is true. Um, uh, they said not too young, uh, not too young to run, but most of our youth are too poor to run because how many youth really have all this money 
we are talking about. I mean, the country is so poor that they don't even have this money. How can they even have this money? In fact, if any youth comes out now and say they have this 45 million naira for the form, for the nomination form, will, will EFCC not um, go after them? The, I mean, how old are you? Where did you get the money from? Things like that. So definitely, they should try as much as possible to make sure all those m- m- fees are reasonable so that more youth can participate because for now seriously they just sign in a bill that not too young to run but seriously to be frank they are too poor to run because in this country now how many youth can really can really really say okay they want to run not a lot of them and it is because the country is poor the majority of people in the country are poor people that have the brain people that have something to offer are too poor to even get the form not to talk of being nominated in their parties you know so they just use them as political thugs they use them as Aryan boy instead of because the, i believe youth in this country have things to offer this country but it's just that how to get there is the main thing because the older people are not really given way to the younger ones and they said we are the leaders of tomorrow how can you be a leader of tomorrow when you're you're not beginning they don't even give you a chance to to exhibit your talents to showcase what you have upstairs you know, that's my take about it. What is your take about this particular news? Kindly leave your comment in the comment box and um, we will definitely um, reply you in due course. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our channel if you are yet to do so. But if you have done so, we say thank you. God bless.